So I saw this uh, TikTok video where they did some uh, corn flake chicken strips, and I thought it looked great. They put it in an air fryer, and I thought I could do that on a Blackstone. Never tried it before, but looked like a great opportunity to make a video. And we got to do it fast. The wind's blowing, and a storm, I hear thunder, is with just a little 12-ounce uh, chicken breast. I'm going to cut it in threes. So now I should have three to four ounce one of them made that yeah, maybe a little over four three to five ounces worth of chicken strips right there and this is where you get to become creative i'm going to go ahead and add just a unmeasured amount of flour all-purpose flour and i'm just going to sprinkle some of my own seasoning that i made this is the spg all-purpose seasoning I'm going to put quite a bit of that in here this is like i said where you become creative you get those salt pepper do whatever you want and for a little heat I'm also going to add just a little bit of cayenne pepper to it. Oh yeah. In this bowl, I'm just going to add some egg white. And a Louisiana hot sauce. I, I have all kind of hot sauce. When it comes to chicken, it's Louisiana that I prefer. Use whatever your favorite is. A good amount. I mean a good amount. I'm just going to take our chicken and drop them in here and let them soak for just a few just for a few little bit okay we're going to let that all just sit in that mixture and now that i've got the corn flakes here i'm just going to pour a bunch of those in here oh i can smell that louisiana sauce when i come over here it smells great so i'm just going to take this right off of this move this out of the way that thunder is getting close. I hope it <laughs> don't come right over me. All right, got my main camera out in the open. So we're just going to go ahead and put this on here. Flour it all up. I'm going to dip it in this again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and now right on the cornflakes. Then uh, we've got this heating on medium. We're just going to throw this grease one there and we're gonna lay that right there so I added some fresh corn flakes in here and I went ahead and crunched it up a little finer to see if it holds a little better this round so we're gonna go ahead and place this first in the ooh, that fell apart place this in the flour go ahead and put all these in the flour now dunk it dunk dunk and press And we're not done yet. Little Louisiana sauce right on top. So the key is, and I should have known better, need to crunch up these real good before you put them on there. Although that's going to be just fine. That's the first one. So we might want to check it. Wow. You know, even not crunched up, that looks mighty fine. That that looks great. Well, I want to thank you for joining me in my Oki Smoking Kitchen. My name is John, where we do all our cooking on the Blackstone today, sometimes on the uh, Pit Barrel and at Weber Smoky Mountain as well. I like to mix it up. Tell me in the comments, what do you prefer, Blackstone or smoked foods? Let me know. We're going to cook this about six to eight minutes on each side, try to get them to about 165 and see how well it tastes. I, 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 I can't wait to give this a try. Look how those have turned out. Here's the one that I've already flipped. There's the one that came apart, so we ended up with another mini. And well, they do look good. Yeah, there's a storm and I looked at the radar and it's headed right toward me. You can hear that thunder. Uh, so I might have to cut off this camera in a minute that's out when it starts raining. But I'll be able to get the other views. If it does start raining, I'll be out here ready to pull this camera.
Now the first one we put on has reached temp, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Ooh, got a nice golden brown on that one. Flip these one more time. Nice golden brown on those. Let's check the temp. About 135 to 140, so 145, not quite ready yet. I'm gonna let that cook a little more. I'm gonna turn the heat down though so it don't burn, just like to keep it on a little lower temp. Let that go ahead and get all the way cooked through. Dab a little Louisiana right on top. Let's test this one while those cook. So I haven't had a view like this before, but uh, the rain is starting to fall, so I put this camera that's not rain proof underneath well so no worries i've got a view right here we've got the other one over here and um, raining raining in oklahoma the weather can go from sunny to raining before you can get something cooked but that's all right we got gopros doing the remainder of the recording rain can bounce off of them it can do whatever it wants we're going to get this cooked because we're covered where this grill is actually sitting so i'm going to go ahead and cut me a piece of this off Now, folks, I don't know, you can see the rain, give you a view here. There's the pool over there. I have a covered area here, so should be all right. And these are just about done, so as the rain continues to fall. So we've got them all up to temp now. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the remainder of one of these. And I'm gonna try this one that was breaded, you know, with the fine breaded and see if I can tell much of a difference. I'm out here getting wet. You know, they're both really good. I think I do favor the one. Uh, probably crunch it up just a little bit so they're not full size and they get on there better. Uh, it's got, it's not falling off. It's sticking on there real good. Flavor's fine. I can actually taste a bit of that cornflake just attached. It's a little spicy. Uh, I put a, quite a bit of that uh, seasoning, that cayenne pepper, but no, it, it's, it's really good. So corn flake chicken strips cooked in the rain right here in Oklahoma absolutely look amazing well that does it i will see you guys in the next of the video if you enjoyed this uh, let me know in the comments below do you cook in the rain hmm, i do we just did right here on the Oki smoking channel i'll see you guys soon